Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks, the World Economic Forum. We'll be having their yearly meeting at Davos in Switzerland on the 21st of May, tomorrow, where the likes of the unelected Klaus Schwab will be banging on about how they want everybody to reset their lives, planning and scheming with the 500 richest companies in the world, etc. Now, if you recall, I did a video a week or so ago Witchcraft and the World Economic Forum, where I showed you literally how the Lucis Trust, the United Nations Organization, the spiritual foundation of the United Nations, formerly called the Lucifer Publishing after Lucifer, the fallen angel, stating on their website how they have group invocations and spell casting to create what they call the right spiritual atmosphere for the World Economic Forum at the Davos Summit and also for the G7 Summit later on in the year, openly declaring they are performing witchcraft to make these meetings more powerful and resonant. Luciferians of the Lucis Trust. Check out the video if you haven't seen it. It's all written in black and white on their websites. And now, today, I see this. Forget Burning Man, psychedelic shamans now heading to Davos. It says here from May the 21st to the 26th, for the first time the Davos Forum will feature the House of Psychedelics, featuring almost 40 sessions and speakers, including researchers, entrepreneurs and investors. It goes on to say, psychedelics industry targets power players. The World Economic Forum, a gathering of the global elite now synonymous with the quaint Swiss town of Davos, where it's held, isn't the usual place you expect to find a shaman. But this year's gathering of government leaders and corporate executives will have access to a medical psychedelic House of Davos program with almost 40 sessions and speakers, including researchers, entrepreneurs, investors, and some who consider themselves shamans. Now, what exactly is a shaman? It says here, a shaman is a person regarded as having access to and influence in the world of good and evil spirits. So not only do we have Luciferians of the Lucis Trust openly declaring on their website that they are doing group invocations and spell casting for these events, but they are now bringing in shamans at the World Economic Forum. A shaman, as I've just said, which is a person who acts as an intermediary between the natural and the supernatural worlds, using magic, it says here, to cure illness, foretell the future, control spiritual forces, which some people might say is witchcraft, you know, voodoo potions, and so forth. So if you've seen my two New Age Doctors videos and the Witchcraft World Economic Forum video, where I showed that if you scratch beneath the surface of many of these doctors, these organizations, these groups and cliques that they mingle around in, the presenters, if you scratch below the surface, you find New Age. Like for example, Russell Brand and the Transcendental Meditation, Joe Rogan, who is always going on about psychedelics, the reawakened American doctors and their connections to the Divine Academy of Knowledge and so on. And here we see at the World Economic Forum now, them bringing in the new age, the house of psychedelics and shamans and transcendental meditation. So it says here, Davos will feature the house of psychedelics, which according to Bloomberg is a program with almost 40 sessions and speakers, including researchers, entrepreneurs, investors, and some who consider themselves shamans. Sponsors of the House of Psychedelics include public companies such as Field Trip Health, Irwin Naturals, and the Peter Thiel-backed Compass Pathways. It is being hosted by New York-based company Energia Holdings Incorporated. The House of Psychedelics will teach rich globe trotters how to do breath work transcendental meditation talks about dmt talks about ayahuasca ecstatic dance rituals how to get rooted in your body and what the mental health benefits of taking psychedelics may be it is essential to note that no psychedelics will be given in davos as they are still illegal in switzerland it says here 
So, <laughs> one of the shamans attending the World Economic Forum is Silvia Benito, who calls herself a Chief Investment Officer, a CFA charter holder and a shaman, she says on her website. It says here, your consciousness is an energetic signature on your capital. Money is energy, she says. I move within circles of venture capital. I move within the innermost circles of the psychedelic renaissance. Hmm. Okay, here is another shaman who will be at the World Economic Forum. Maria Florencia Bellini, who specializes in DMT. Here's her website. It says here, she's devoted her career to helping humans achieve their full potential through a series of lifestyle modifications, including the progressive dosing of psychoactive medicines and to female empowerment. It says she introduced a feminine approach to serving psychoactive medicines in the shamanic world, a progressive dosing technique that minimizes resistance by allowing the ego to dissolve slowly. And here it says, she trained as an Ayanifa, a mother priestess of IFA divination system, it says here. So what is that? Some kind of African divination and spiritual mediumship. Is that just a nice way of saying voodoo? Interestingly enough, if you look here on the right, you see the UN Sustainability Color Wheel Agenda 2030. So it's incorporated into all of that. And there's more at this link. So yeah, shamans at the World Economic Forum pushing psychedelics and new age stuff. What a surprise, as potential investments for these big corporations and companies, while Luciferians do group invocations at the Lucis Trust of the United Nations for the event. And the House of Psychedelics at Davos one of its sponsors is Peter Thiel, the billionaire tech guy and one of Trump's biggest ever donors. Wow, what a surprise. New Age Doctors, New Age Trump, Reawaken America, World Economic Forum, Shamans, Luciferians. So as you can see, it doesn't seem to be a coincidence, does it? Is this why there is so much New Age Higher Vibrations, Meditation, Divine Feminine, Lucis Trust, Alchemical Talk behind many of these people that I've been telling you about in previous videos. Is that why it lingers behind the scenes? Because it's being pushed, slowly introduced into the mainstream. And now we have the World Economic Forum pushing it at Davos at the big corporations so they can incorporate it into their systems. Shamans, this new age, it's all part of the Great Reset, the one world government and the one world religion that they want to bring in. Anyhow, that is what they are starting to push at the World Economic Forum, shamanism, the communication with good and evil spirits in the afterworld. I'm just waiting for them now to bring in the alien deception That'll be next. Okay, stay strong, keep focused. Thank you for listening and come and subscribe to hugotalks.com website if you haven't already so I can stay in touch with you and that you can be notified by automated email every time I upload a video on the website. And if you are subscribed and you haven't been receiving the email notifications, let me know in the comments. Okay, I'll see you later.